Welcome back to the channel. Over the last couple of days, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War has been rumoured to get an update or an update of some kind maybe coming in the future, but over the last hours, two hours that we just had in the day, the actual update dropped and you're probably coming here to wonder like, what is actually inside this update? What did they change? What did they update? What did they include? Well, this video right here today is going to explain and tell you exactly what was inside of that update. And let me tell you right now, it's not a very big update at all uh, with content, but it is of size of the actual update, which is a bit confusing, but we'll get into that in just a second. But if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button with a bell notification turned on so you never miss a Call of Duty video on this channel. So, what happened with this update? So, there's like, it's broken down into about four or five different things, so we'll just go start off straight from the top. And the first one is progression and it is they have renamed the progression tab to career progression and added a legacy progression tab in barracks for easier progression menu navigation that was kind of a bit of a mouthful but what they're saying right there is they've just changed something with inside of the settings inside of the barracks inside of the game just to make it sound and look a little bit easier to read and navigate around it with inside of the settings so that was the first thing they have addressed the second thing is they have addressed an issue where the seasonal progression was showing incorrect prestige icons they've addressed a clipping issue when using the zombie head gesture while using a sentry score streak they have addressed an issue where the visual effect could remain stuck on the player when performing the soul torn finishing move now moving over to multiplayer it was inside the combat record. They've addressed an issue where the combat record could sometimes appear locked under certain circumstances. And now we move over to zombies, which is not really much of anything, but it's the user interface. They've addressed a UI error that sometimes occur when playing Outbreak in split screen. And they've addressed an issue in Forsaken where the pizza delivery text could overlap the trial text. Now that is everything that was inside of the latest update, obviously that really isn't a lot for like a nine gigabyte update so maybe they've hidden some secrets in there and we will have to find them out in the next few days but that is all the updates that have happened with call of duty black ops cold war if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notification turned on so you never miss a video on this channel and we'll see you all in the next video so thanks for watching guys and i'm out peace